This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. Hello divers, thanks for joining me today. As some of you may know, we recently completed a 100 meter dive in at the Blue Hole of Dahab. This is recorded in video 131 that was released in mid-August of 2023. That dive and the dive location in this video are the exact same dive site. And the people in the video today were attempting to do the same dive that we just recently conducted. So the video that we're going to discuss today has particular relevance. The subject video actually first appeared four years ago under a different user name. It was subsequently deleted and then reappeared under the name of Golden Boy. Over the last four years, I have frequently used this video in my technical diving classes to help educate students on what to do and what not to do. By viewing and analyzing this video, students can become better technical divers. Before we begin discussing this video, I would like to make a brief comment on Tariq Omar who is the instructor trainer leading this dive. I have not personally met Tariq Omar, who is also known as the Bone Collector. However, I do know a number of the technical diving instructors that he has trained as an instructor trainer. All of these technical dive instructors hold Tariq Omar in great esteem. So having said that, let's begin discussing the video. The video appears to have been recorded by Tariq Omar himself using either a mask mounted or a head mounted GoPro. Many of you may have already seen this video as it currently has over 100,000 views. We don't know the certification level of this diver, however to do this dive it must be a toxic certified. The first observation that many students make uh, is regarding the fins uh, that our diver is using. These fins are actually manufactured by a company called Aquatech and are an OEM manufacturer for other organizations such as HOG and also UTD. So these fins are actually quite suitable for technical diving. They're just a bit of an odd color. We see the first of many issues uh, in this shot. The second stage is twisted in the diver's mouth and this is caused by the fact that the hose is not led around his neck. Instead the hose is led directly to the tank, which is in a right hand carry position. There's nothing wrong in having a tank in the right hand carry position, uh, just not in this manner. The tank is being carried in a very low position and we will see why this is in a later shot. And of course the diver's trim is all off. Here you can see that the diver's decompression cylinders are actually attached onto the D-ring at the end of an adjustable shoulder strap, not on the harness's D-rings on the shoulder. This is the reason why the decompression tanks are hanging so low on the diver. In this screenshot, you can also see the use of a button gauge on the right-hand carry tank. A conventional SBG is preferred by many divers for this application. In this screenshot, you can see the diver's primary back gas pressure gauge is shoulder mounted rather than being mounted in the conventional position 
on a longer hose on the left hip D-ring. You can also see another button gauge on the right post regulator. That button gauge is not only completely redundant, but also offers a, another failure point. And of course, the diver is exhibiting poor buoyancy control and is actually making contact with the reef. In this screenshot, we see the other diver who was doing both left and right hand carry. Uh, but in addition, he appears to be trailing a uh, aluminum 46 liter uh, oxygen bottle in the trailing position between his legs. This diver is also exhibiting the same poor trim. Here we see what I would consider to be a poorly labeled cylinder. Because of the poor labeling, we are not really sure what's in the right hand carry tank or even the left hand carry tank. Here we have a close up of the left and right post regulator setup. You can see the button gauge on the right post and you can see a wire tied hose on the left post and the regulators don't match. This is clearly a less than optimal setup. This is a gas switch from whatever is being used as the travel gas to the back gas. It does not appear as though the diver does a gas switch on his computer. And the diver is apparently incapable of stowing his own back gas hose.
And the diver is yet again out of control. The other diver's O2 tank leash appears to be too long and also appears to be boosted as it uh, is quite negative. A substantially negative tank on a leash uh, can be very difficult to handle. At this point, Tarika Mar is probably aborting the dive, and the diver is probably wondering why. We do not know the identity of uh, this anonymous diver, however, we would like to thank him for the opportunity for this training opportunity. If anybody knows what that was, uh, please put it down in the comment section. Technical diving students should be able to identify the following issues in this video. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.